Whoa, look at it. That is really cool looking. In 2017, I had one of the best views of a total solar eclipse you could get from the ground. And it was the most miserable hike I had been on. Watch your drone. But I was determined to print my own photo of the corona, so I needed a clear view. When I got home, I was devastated to find that every photo was out of focus. It would be seven years before I could try to redeem myself. April 2024, and we are ready. It's been seven long years, and it's finally happening. Yeah! Woo! Reese, are you excited? Yeah. Uh, I'm excited! Ilya, do you think it'll be boring or exciting? Boring. <laughs> to at least see the eclipse, again, the cirrus clouds may be a little bit of a hindrance here, but I've also heard that they can actually enhance the viewing experience. Mm -hmm. So, Eclipse, plan ahead. Oh, I have been. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Dude, we're leaving this early. It might be worse in like two hours. Yeah. Uh, there's tornado damage out in the field from a few days ago. Wow. I was wondering if we would see tornado damage. So we came out of Plain City. Wow. So an EF2 tornado. Man, this was a long tornado, too. <laughs> Look at all of the fence and the. They don't want anyone on their lawns. Let Jesus their have the total them. eclipse of your heart. They're blocking their entire drive. <laughs> All right, got Australian Shepherd number one, Australian Shepherd number two, then Australian Shepherd number three. This one was pretty socked out after having competed in agility just before. <laughs> Do not enter local traffic only. <laughs> <laughs> we're friends out here. Uh -huh. <laughs> now that we were through the traffic, we stopped at a park in Forest, Ohio until our friends at a family farm were ready for us. And it's looking mighty full. Oh, I saw some of it. You saw some of the trash out in the field? Yeah. And when, when was that? Time? That was on March 14th. Here come all of the stratus clouds that are forecasted to come in. Did we bring the eclipse glasses? Yes, we brought the Please. Or, that would have or, been so sad. Are any of you guys from out of state? Yeah. Kentucky, yeah, I got to see it in Wyoming. Did you see the shadow? Yes, the, the sky darkened, and then the Tetons darkened, and then we darkened. Oh. It was really neat. Are any of you guys from out of state? We are. From? Colorado. Probably a long drive, man. Oh, it was very long, but I've been waiting years for this, so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and especially if, if the clouds will be this thin, this will be great. From Michigan, nice. Came all the way from Colorado? Yep, all the way from Colorado. The weather changes fast. Yeah, that's what my brother was saying. <laughs> all right, we got Nephew Pie here recording the video. So here's the current forecast <laughs> on here for the path of totality. So we've got a lot of clear weather up here, a lot of clear weather in Maine, but down here, in Ohio, this is all high level clouds. That's what the orange means. So we had this, a slight trough ejection come through here that brought some rain overnight, but look how it's clearing out. We're really crossing our fingers to see that, hope that we can see the corona through. We should still see it, it just might not be as clear. And here's the last four days of the sun's activity. So we got, some, it's very active right now. This is the time lapse. So now the big question is, is what will the corona look like. Last time it kind of looked like a Y. All right, we're moving out. One hour until first contact. So as much as I would love to get another mountain view this time around, considering the lack of options on this side of the country, we decided to settle for a nice farm out in the middle of nowhere. All right, so now I've got the A7S III. Not super great at photography, but great at low light, which is awesome because this time I didn't just rent, but I purchased the 400 millimeter Canon L lens. And on it goes. Yesterday, Sister Pie and I practiced okay. all afternoon. Yeah, so now, go for it, Amber. Not only were we sharing the lens, but I wanted to use a third camera too. The eclipse would last two minutes longer than in 2017, but we were still struggling to keep it all in time. Six minutes. To add to the complexity, there was a chance a comet would be visible too. It points it up at the comet, which of course I couldn't resest. At least I didn't say that. I'd be like, 
gonna be screaming at me. Hooray! <laughs> so after all this time, I still have the same solar filter that I made back in 2017. So the last time when I took off my solar filter, I accidentally bumped the focus ring a little bit and it was just enough that I didn't notice it. So this time, I am only going to put it on a little bit. I also have some wood under here to provide some stability because this plastic mount I bought isn't that great, but kind of locks it in there. All right, there's two sunspots on the front of the sun. So there is a phenomenon that happens before solar eclipses called shadow bands. The whole ground kind of looks like the bottom of a pool because the light is so focused from oh, yeah, the sun. So we brought this sheet so that way we can see them more. I tried to cap it from last time and I failed. First contact. All right, the eclipse is about to start. Oh, okay. Four, three, two, one. Totality! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I think I can see it on Bro. the top line. Really? I can't. No, nope, you can't. Not yet. Give it a minute. We have quite the turnout here. Where are you guys all from? I'm all right here. here. Right here, locals, woo! Anyone else travel a ways? <laughs> Illinois, nice. Is it you see it? I see a tiny, the tiniest microscopic oh, thing. Oh yeah, it's in the bottom right, yeah. I see it. I'm so excited. Ah. For the opportunity. Lady of the farm. Mm -hmm. Oh, very good, yeah. Well, we've been you. married 61 years this month and we've lived this same house for 61 years wow. and we just kept adding. Well, hey, now you just have to wait 75 years for the next eclipse. Well, I told my grandson that's nine years old he ought to do a time capsule. Yeah, I mean, you can see it on the screen. It looks like Pac-Man! Almost, yep. That is intense. What year is the eclipse on Pike's Peak? 2045. When did you give me this t-shirt? Five years ago. Probably two years out there. Probably 2019, I would guess. 2019, all right. So it's so faded because I've worn it for five years and it's, a, well, it's a cheap shirt. So it's time to finally replace it. No! no. Ah. <laughs> all right. Our, I'm so hairy. I'm, <laughs> I'm representing our whole base of Plain City, Ohio. <laughs> Except this is an annular eclipse, but you know, whatever. So, Aaliyah, tell the story about what happened in your science class. So, we were talking about thunderstorms and like lightning. Okay, yeah. 15 minutes until second contact. And he's like, guys, today we're gonna watch a video that I saw on the news. I was like, no, this is the video of my uncle getting his car struck by lightning. And I was like, that's my uncle. And <laughs> my teacher said, oh, really? Oh, and I was like, yeah, my um, family was on the call during that. And you can hear my grandma like saying, what was that? <laughs> and like, I don't know if any of my class believed me after that. <laughs> that video needs to be in yeah. every child's science class. Yeah. So we were going to take a picture of you two so you could bring it in and show me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we should do that. You can oh, see yeah, Chris. You can. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, whoa. Thin bricks. Look at that. There we Look go. Look at it. You can see them yeah, right there in the hole. Look at the white dots. They're little crescents. Oh, They're not yeah. full circles. Whoa. All right. We're about to lose a sunspot. There's a sunspot going behind the moon. All right. Oh, listen, guys. This is someone that just saw the eclipse. Oh. Hey, Brandon. Uh, totality is starting here in a few minutes. Second I, contact I think it... in six minutes. Observe changes in animal no, behavior. Hey. This was my boss, and he was working a contract gig down in Texas. Um, it was pretty cloudy here. Street lights come on and it get totally dark around us just to get a few photos. You actually did capture uh, it a little bit. Nice. I got, I got a few photos, yeah. I just think it's cool to capture something that like, we have no control over. Like this is happening. <laughs> no, what. right. It's really cool to get outside and see that. What's it look like? A croissant. It looks like a croissant. See, look, there's the shadow. It's coming into Arkansas right now. Uh, we're up here. That is so cool. We also took a look at the satellite and it struggled a little bit. Oh, weird. Look at it. Oh, it's like glitching it out. Okay. It is looking so good. Just then, I got another call from a friend in Arkansas. Okay, just tell me exactly what happened in the next minute or so. 
it started getting dark. The car dropped about five to ten degrees. Ooh, bird. And then it just went across, and we had the best view. Of oh, the awesome. Around it. The stars, we had like two or three stars. Then That's I, awesome. I, a plane flew by, and then we had a the moon, like a sonic boom. Oh, you heard a sonic boom? You can't, and, and it'll be so fast. Like it's, it's, it's there, you really don't need to realize. I know, right? These last few minutes, not only did it get dark, but the lighting just felt weird. Whoa, it's getting real, whoa, it's really close. It's getting dark. Second contact in four minutes. Observe changes in ambient lighting. All right, four minutes. Okay, opening up the aperture. We got the drone going up. Okay, rolling. All right, and we're off. Second contact in three minutes. My camera can't focus anymore. It's so little. Sweet. Okay, drone is autopiloting. Oh, that's an awesome picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a sliver. <laughs> All right, guys. Once in a lifetime experience happening right now. Second contact in two minutes. Observe for shadow band. Okay. Quite a bit of cirrus right now, but. Yeah, quite a bit of cirrus. Unfortunately, but we'll do what we can. All right, here it comes. Observing animals. It's so dark. Gracie, come here. We might be able to see shadow bands here. Okay, wait. They'll be very faint. Oh, it's getting so much darker. Seconds. Observe Umbra approach. Umbra approach. Oh, look how dark it is over there. <laughs> 30 seconds. Hands on camera filters. Yeah, you can take your filter oh, off. Oh, my word. On oh, my camera? Yeah, you can take it off. 20. Remove camera filters. Wow. Hey, oh, off. 16, 15, 14, 15. All right, do you see any shadow bands? We weren't able to see anything, but when I increase the contrast here, I think you can see a wavy pattern. I don't see any at all. No? All right, there's the star. That's either Venus or Mercury. Oh, there's the ring. There's the diamond ring. Look at it. <laughs> that looks so amazing. Alright, there's Jupiter up there. There should be a comet like directly above us. Dang. Look it's so that. dark I can't see my camera bag. Okay. <laughs> Chicklet's barking. She's like, she's like, what happened? Look how dark you guys are. <laughs> That's amazing. Just then, my brother pointed out something that was really prominent. Yeah, but what are we okay. seeing in the, on the bottom of the sun? That's probably your corona. Is that the corona? Oh, the like the bottom of the sun. The little red dot. That's a solar flare. That is, yeah, that's a coronal mass ejection. All right, Amber, your turn. I'm ready. Okay, go for it. Wait, that's not the max. This is, Three, this is the max two, one. one. Max eclipse, half over. Now what do I do to my ISO to go down? Um, I found I did not need to shoot at a high ISO though. I'm center it and I'll be out. Okay, I'm good. Okay, Billy, I'm leaving. Okay, great. Thank it's you. yours. Dang it, stupid camera stopped recording. Did you see the plane, Dad? Yep, I sure did. Drone, see the sunset. It's like a 360. Yes, sunset. it will. So we can see that. That's a solar flare. There it is. We have stars. We have planes. Look how, look at the horizon. Look how dark we are. There's Goji Berry. <laughs> Hi, Goji. Those look sick. Look at that. Oh my gosh. These pictures. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh. All right. <laughs> We're nearly done. No. Third no. contact in 20 seconds. Oh my gosh! Look at okay, that. Getting lighter. <laughs> 15. These are actually called solar prominences. Unlike solar flares, they are anchored to the sun by its magnetic field and can't be ejected out into space. Hey, get your get glasses, your glasses. Ready. Get your glasses ready, Grace. Let's get the moon. Three, Three, two, one. Glasses on. Glasses on. Glasses on. Woo! Oh, I totally missed it. Damn. Oh, I barely see it. Replace the camera filters. All right, filter on. 
filter on. Plus 25. All right. Woo, there goes the shadow. Bye, shadow. Over there. All right, there it is. Oh my gosh, those solar flares looked amazing. Oh, look at the birds are starting to chirp again. We gotta start. Right, the birds are back. Wow. <laughs> Dad, can I look at those? All right, I think I finally redeemed myself. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I know, look at that. What? That's what the sun looks like. <laughs> I'm so glad you said something, Peter. Well, I, I, I could I could see, yeah, just a, a brighter piece on the bottom of the... Oh, yeah, right about 7 o'clock. Mm-hmm. I saw that one. Yeah, yeah did you? Yeah, yeah you, could cool. see the, you could see the, uh, the ones down here. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Is this more unique than anything you've seen before? Or? I did not capture this at all during the last eclipse, so I am so stoked about Amber that. Was Amber, what was, what was the problem you were having? Find my camera bag, it was so dark. <laughs> you got a black chair and a black bag and a black bag. <laughs> oh, you got... Uh, oh, that's cool. That's a neat picture. Was that just from where you were sitting? Right here, that way. After spending weeks editing the photos, I was actually able to pull out a lot of detail in the corona. To save time, I skipped the comment. But then I noticed this little guy over here, far closer to the sun than it should have. Turns out this was a completely different comet called a sun grazer and it was caught on the SOHO Observatory too. They aren't terribly rare, but they sure are during an eclipse. This was likely the last moments for this comet as it probably vaporized a few hours later. The next eclipse is Alaska, March 3rd, 2033, nine years from now. What do you think? Should we go to Nome, Alaska? Uh, you might have kids by then. So. <laughs> Otherwise, August 23rd, 2044, and our home state will be ready for a sunset total solar eclipse. Will we charge for parking? So until then, guys, just get out and experience God's creation. It's even without an eclipse. It's amazing out there.